BFF, also known as Best Face Forever, was my very first purchase from Perfectly Posh. Um, I always joke and refer to this as Gateway Posh because it's just, it's a favorite among many, but it's a wonderful face cleanser. And what I love about it is it's exfoliating. It's got these little sugar derived um, scrubbies to it, but it's still gentle. You can kind of see that texture there. Uh, it's it's gentle enough for daily use. If Now, if you've got dry or sensitive skin, uh, you may not want to use it on a daily basis, but I love this. It's from the Look Natural line. It's got um, a base of glycerin and aloe, so it's hydrating, but then it's got grapefruit and peppermint essential oils that help to tone, and it's very refreshing. I love using it first thing in the morning just to kind of give my face like a literal pick-me-up. As much as I love BFF Face Cleanser, when I first tried Bright Young Thing, it immediately became my number one favorite. It's just very wonderful, it's soothing. I always recommend it if you've got dry or aging skin because it's got ginseng, which ginseng root, which is brightening. It's got macadamia oil, which is hydrating, and then it's got caffeine, which is firming. So firming, that key word for the anti-age, those of us who have stepped into that realm, uh, you, I think you would really love Bright Young Thing. And so this is non-exfoliating and it just has a very soft, smooth texture. And if you didn't see, if you didn't catch the amount that I used, like this little pea size, this is all that it takes to wash your face with our cleansers. The BFF or the Bright Young Thing, if it's not a foaming cleanser, does not take much. So this bottle, this tube will last you months. Show off. This is one of our um, non-exfoliating, it's our foaming cleanser. It's got orange and bergamot. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. Is it bergamot, bergamot? Um, this was, it's part of our Simple Skin line, so it was actually created with like teens, early 20s in mind, where the skin still needs balancing. It's got um, clarifying willow and then toning citrus. So I will tell you, my teenager, I can tell a huge difference when he's actually washing his face consistently with this. It just, it clears up those blackheads. You know that teenage acne, but I've used it on myself and it's not drying. You can see, I just did like one and a half pumps. Look at how much it gives me. That's more than enough to clean my face and it just leaves my face feeling refreshed. So that's a great one. Set the tone. Um, this toner is part of our Simple Skin line, but it can be used by anybody, but it is designed more with, um, besides the youth, more with like oily skin in mind. What it has is the willow bark extract just to help clarify, but then at the same time it balances your skin because it's got aloe vera, so it's like replenishing, hydration, and just helps your skin to be, have a more um, natural pH level and it helps to better prepare your skin for your serums and your moisturizers that you'll apply next. But you just simply take your cotton pad, apply a little bit of the toner, wipe down. That's it. Gel, yes. I tell you what, I love this moisturizer. I've got normal combo skin. Uh, right now, you know, it's summertime and I don't need as much moisture during the day. And this has got a really cool refreshing gel to water technology. But you just use a pea size amount and I just, oh, let me see my finger. <laughs> um, it just kind of like melts right in like water. It, it's so light and refreshing. And then it's got the orange and the bergamot uh, essential oil. So I think this can be used for anybody. You know, I know even though it's simple skin, you know, geared towards 20s and youth, I think anybody would like it. If your skin is still super dry, it may not be enough hydration for you, but this is a great one for summertime. Serves You Bright is another great face moisturizer. Uh, so from the name, I'm sure you can guess, it helps to brighten up your skin. It's also great for lightening up, evening out some of those dark spots when you use it on a daily basis. It's got moisturizing shea butter, cocoa butter, aloe vera, and even sunflower oil. But then it also has uh, the citrus, so it's got the vitamin C, and then it's got carrot root and carrot seed to help brighten up your skin tone. But I do want to show you that, you know, it's not a heavy moisturizer, so even those with, you know, skin that's more on the oily side, 
it's not heavy it soaks in really light and really nice so you've got that perfect balanced hydration I don't think it's really ever too soon to start using a serum but if you are mid to late 20s getting hit close to hitting 30s you definitely want to start working it into your routine and our never grow up serum is a great place to start it's just it's basically like vitamins for your face the molecular structure of a serum allows it to penetrate deeper than even a moisturizer can and then this has vitamin C and B3 just to help add that um, brightening glow look to your face and then it's got 22 antioxidant um, fr uh, fruits and extracts just to help fight those free radicals. Free radicals are what speeds up our aging in our skin. So it's also got caffeine, which is another key anti-aging ingredient. So it's definitely something that I recommend if, if you're wanting some preventative maintenance, this is a great place to start with the Never Grow Up Serum. Before I stepped up my anti-aging game with Defiant, the Never Grow Up um, Serum and Cream or my go-to. If you've got dry skin but aren't ready to you know, bump your level up to Defiant, I highly recommend this one. It's got a shea butter base, but then it also has aloe vera, it's got coconut water, and it's got olive oil. So it's got like lasting hydration. Um, then it also has 20 botanical fruit extracts. So it's loaded with great antioxidants just to help fight off the pollution, uh, the free radicals from pollution, and just let you wanna slow down uh, the signs of aging. So that's great. And then I wanna show you, it's, you know, although it is a heavier moisture, it's not super thick to where like it leaves you tacky it soaks in nice but you can feel the difference of that hydration so that's a great one my poor prize on the eyes too but seen better days but i had to squeeze every ounce of product out of this because um before i was using my defiant eye cream this was my go-to so it's you know the eye under eye area is got a thinner layer of skin it's more delicate so it needs its own cream you you know not a great idea to just put your regular moisturizers on it so this is loaded with CoQ10 vitamin 3 um, just got a lot of great ingredients just to help reduce the darkness under your eyes as well as puffiness so you want to use you just use like three little dabs under each eye before applying your regular moisturizer on your face whole lava love can you see it this is one of my favorites it's um, an exfoliator for your face but it's not a mask it, it's more of a scrub so I love it when I don't have time even that five to ten minutes to do an off mask an exfoliating mask I love to get this it's got um, volcanic ash it's got charcoal and it's got so I have to smell everything it's got spearmint oil but you can see it's nice and thick applied on wet skin you just give your face a mechanical exfoliation, helps to break and rid, break down and rid that outer layer of that dead dry skin, gets your skin ready for absorbing its serums, its moisturizer, and this, that spearmint is just so cooling and refreshing. I absolutely love it and definitely one that I highly recommend. Envy this, I want you to see that one. This is one of my very favorite uh, face masks by Posh. This is like, if, if you like things that are like anti-aging, my skin just eats this one up. Uh, it's got the kaolin clay, so it does help to draw out the impurities from your pores, but it's got green tea, which is very soothing, along with neem flower and caffeine. You know, I've said before, one of my favorite ingredients for those anti-aging um, products, it helps to firm up. You know, I've got the areas around here when I'm dehydrated or my skin is just lacking, you'll start to see kind of fine lines struggling to come through. This is just like a, a pick me up for my face. So I highly, highly recommend Envy This. Poor Chores. Uh, this is a great face mask if you struggle with enlarged pores. It's got Elite and Kaolin Clay, which I did have to Google how to pronounce Elite, by the way. Um, it's got those clays to help draw out dirt, oils, just impurities from the pores. But what's cool is like you let this set up on your skin, you know, you typically 
t-zone or wherever you struggle with those large pores but really let it dry 10 to 15 minutes and then you're like rubbing it off to give it a, a mechanical exfoliation and it really cleans out those pores so like i will sometimes get like those stubborn little blackheads the little tiny ones here and this stuff does the trick so pore tours is another cool one to check out